Welcome to the Out of This World Show. Seven musical instruments used by the ancient Egyptians. Number seven. The Darbuka or Goblet Drum. A Darbuka or Goblet Drum is a single head hand beaten Egyptian drum. It also goes by other names as well in the ancient world. Including Dumig, or Tabla depending on which region you're living in. All theses percussion instruments have been used since ancient times. Many drawings show ancient Egyptians playing goblet drums in temples and festivities. But nowadays, goblet drums are the national symbol of Egyptian folklore music. The drum has a basic shape that has remained the same since ancient times. The main difference is the drum's rounded edges. Because they help produce sounds typical of traditional Egyptian music. Number 6. The Sistrum. Sistra, the plural of the sistrum, is a handheld percussion tool that looks like a rattle. Ancient Egyptian wall art shows that they were considered holy and sacred. A sistrum consists of a U-shaped frame with a handle. Unlike many other ancient instruments, sistra were made of metal or another durable material. Also, the design is similar to the Egyptian symbol of life, the ankh. Number 5. The Bene Egyptian Harp and Lyre. It's believed that the Egyptian harp, or Bene as it was previously called, by the ancients, dates as far back as 2030 BC and was one of the most common instruments during pharaonic times. From looking at the paintings on the walls in all the tombs, you can see how harps developed over time starting out as instruments similar to an archer's bow. But over the years, they developed into much larger instruments that look more like a harp does today. Most, however, consisted of a long wooden neck with a curved sound box that resonated when the musician plucked the strings. The sound box was then covered with animal skin. And then finally, we have the lyres which are commonly mistaken for a harp. Even though they're members of the same family, there are several key differences between the two instruments. First of all, a lyre is much lighter. Players hold their lyres in their laps while playing. While that's nothing compared to the substantial weight of a harp, which has to rest solid on the ground. Number 4. The Cymbals and the Bells. Another important instrument in ancient Egypt was the cymbal, which hasn't changed much over the years. They still come in pairs of round flat metal plates that vibrate when struck by one another. Ancient Egyptians used bells for religious ceremonies and worship rituals for their god Osiris and they were also used as amulets worn around the neck to protect against certain dangers. Also, they were typically made out of metal, mainly bronze but sometimes even gold or silver. Number 3. The Castanets or Clappers. The Castanets, or Clappers, were another popular instrument in pharaonic times. The ancient Castanets were designed as a pair of curved arms that started at the elbows and ended with a pair of open palms. When you hit them together, they produce a clapping sound. To the ancient Egyptians, this sound was believed to be the depiction of the goddess Hathor. Also, in addition to being the goddess of music, Egyptians believed Hathor's powers could ward off evil. It's why many clappers had Hathor's face carved on them. Number 2. The Trumpet and the Pipes. You may be surprised to know that a couple of trumpets were discovered in King Tutankhamun's tomb. That goes to show you that trumpets are one of the oldest instruments known to man. Although, back then, they were made of a basic, long pipe with a bell as valves and slides had not yet been invented. Ancient trumpets were made of wood, as opposed to the sturdy metal instruments of today. Plus, metal creates smoother, richer tones. Also, in earlier times, trumpets were used as offerings to various deities. They were also played at ceremonies, celebrations, and during times of war. One of the oldest pipes, or Egyptian flutes, is the ney. It's an end-blown flute with seven finger holes to change the pitch. Over the centuries, the ney has been used to create sweet and somber melodies. Another example of an Egyptian pipe is the zamara, which is sort of an ancient clarinet made of a reed with five holes. Number 1. The lute or small guitar. The lute is a string instrument that dates back to the times of ancient Egyptians. 
It consisted of a pear-shaped or round body made of tortoise shells or wood. Some had short necks, but long-necked lutes were the more popular choice. They featured two or three strings that were plucked using a pick or your fingers. As the strings vibrated over the hole, called the rose, they created a deep, resonant sound. Thanks for watching. Now please like subscribe and share, for more of the out of this world show.